Good morning, welcome to Motivational Monday with my curly hair going on. Um, I In this video we're going to talk about people's opinions and how they shouldn't matter or why they shouldn't matter, but they do, we know they do. So I've had an incredible time the last few days. We've had the university ball and last night was a choir concert, so I look a little bit tired this morning, but it was outstanding and I absolutely loved it. Now, if you think about anything, like for instance, music, you're gonna love something. The person sitting next to you might hate that type of music and might like something completely different. Now I'm just, as you could probably tell, in the shopping center and I've just passed somebody saying um, about the royal wedding. I've heard various things about the royal wedding and there was two ladies, probably mm, late 60s, early 70s, and they were talking about that's an interesting outfit, wasn't it? And they were talking about um, the bouquet that Meghan had um, as a, bri a bridal bouquet. And you heard, oh, well, she only had a small bouquet, didn't she? And the other lady went, yeah, too small, I think. But for Meghan, that was what she wanted. So whose day is it? It's hers and Harry's wedding day. They, I don't know if you saw it or if you're not into the royal family or whatnot, but I'm gonna use that as an example today. And I love the royal family. I think there's certain things in the UK we do badly. And I think there's certain things that we do amazingly. And personally, the royal wedding I think was done well, as is the, the like royal stuff usually. So I heard something no, I can't repeat that on this channel, it was awful. Um, but I was doing some work in the coffee shop the other day. I wasn't working in the coffee shop, I was doing some writing while I was having coffee in the coffee shop, if that makes sense. Um, and there was just a few things being bounded around about people's opinions. Some of it was unpolitically correct. No, I, I, can, I can kind of tell you what it was, but I'll put it in a different way. So um, Prince Philip, the Queen's husband, he's, I think, is he 94 or 96? which is amazing, the majority of us don't live that long. So I am then pose the question of, what are they all eating that we're not? What lifestyles are they living that we're not? And don't tell me they're having no stress because that's just rubbish. Um, massive stressful life, I think, that they lead. But I do believe, this is for a whole other subject, but me and my beliefs in nutrition and leading to chronic disease like cancer, diabetes, stroke, heart attack and all that, you know, they have so little evidence of that and they live so long. But anyway, I digress. So this lady in the coffee shop said, um, she mentioned something about his health and it was like in a derogatory way that you just don't say it. Um, so you're always going to get those people who are glass half empty and you and I aren't that because you wouldn't be watching this channel and you wouldn't be watching Motivational Monday if you didn't want to be glass half full. So yeah, let's continue to do that. Let's accept that people are going to have totally different opinions to ours and that's fine. They're, they They can have that opinion but don't let it stop you. And this is where it becomes hard because generally people like you and I are very heart led and we care a lot. We care about other people and we also we care about ourselves. So this is where I've struggled over the years and I like to share these experiences with you because it, I wanna keep it real and I wanna try and help others who've like maybe struggling like how I've struggled. So you put other people's opinions and you put them into your heart and you let them break it and it will stop you from doing things you wanna do and from chasing your dreams. It's taken me absolutely years to get to a place now where I'm like, actually, I'm gonna stand up and be counted. I'm gonna say who I am, what I wanna do, and I'm gonna blim and well give it my best shot at making a success of it because they're not gonna look back like when I'm 50 and say, oh my gosh, you know, she didn't, um, she she didn't live the life of her dreams. You know, I'm going to be the one that's sitting there thinking that, or probably like not going to be in my rocking chair at 50. But you know, when I'm in my rocking chair, I'm going to be the one who's thinking mm, I didn't live the life that I wanted to live, not the other people. So you've kind of got to put that to the back of your mind. But it will hurt, and I think it doesn't matter who you are, like Beyonce or someone really up there and incredible. They get hurt by comments, of course they do. And some of them are awful, aren't they? I mean, I'll tell you what, people have different opinions on Katie Price. I think Katie Price is quite incredible. She bats off so much negativity and hate and she carries on going and she's an incredible businesswoman. And then they're reporting at the minute that, you know, she's crumbling and she's got no money. Of course she's got money. She's not gonna run out of money. She's not silly. She would have like squirreled money away. She would have um, invested in property, but that's what they're saying. They are actually saying that. And, um, 
people are going to say stuff. So what is your thing that if if everybody was going to give you love back for it, what is your thing that you would do? Because for me, you probably know by now, it's writing. And that is something that I'm going to embrace. I need to do a proper video about that, but I will. Um, that, you know, I'm going to embrace that. And when I, I did an announcement recently on some other social media platforms, and people were saying, Louise, you're the last person to know this. And we've all known for ages that you are that writer. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Um, but, you know... Don't upset your nearest and dearest if you can help it. But sometimes you might have been raised in such a negative environment that you've got to disagree with your family. So, yeah, choose your battles, basically. But don't let it stop you from having the life that you want to have. So I hope you have a fantastic Monday. And I'm pleased to see this channel is going nuts for subscribers. Hello to you if you're a new subscriber. Make sure that you hit that thumbs up button because it lets me know that what I'm doing is a good job and that you're loving it. So keep that love going for me. And if you don't already have notifications, there's a bell shaped down there. And if you click that, it will tell you when I upload and it will let you know that there's something new to watch. Um, and there's going to be more coming, more and more, bit by bit, and I'm loving that. I'm loving editing my videos again. It's like a new me is back, and I'm so happy about it. But I'll talk to you more. I'm going to make a special video, but it won't be today. So you guys have a lovely Monday, and I am off now to chase my tail. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye for now.